told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
What's going on, everybody? Made it to the Louisville Sports Card Show that's hosted by J&J All-Star today. Um, I know due to weather and other stuff going on, he wasn't going to have a whole lot of dealers there, but the dealers did bring some stuff, and I picked up from four different dealers out there. Um, some crazy stuff. I have whatnot going on in about two and a half hours, so I got to load some of this stuff up for it, uh, for giveaways and that. But I know. You're all curious. You've seen all my hands going every which way on this stuff through the video. What did I buy? Well, here we go. Uh, we're going to start the last pickup first. These two first cards, there's three cards total in it. The first two are going to be whatnot giveaways. Big Ben Roethlisberger. If I can get the camera to focus. Come on, girl. There we go. Almost had it. But it's Bowman Chrome. Uh, second year. If it'll focus. Wow. There we go. Now, this is numbered out of 250. So, I figured it'd be something nice for everybody to pick up. It's not going to 10. It might not 9, might 8, might 7. I don't know. But, something you don't see a whole lot of. And I figured, what the heck? We're going to give it away during whatnot today. Along with this, everybody remember these? I know it looks like a super fractor, but it's really not. It's not gold vinyl either. Bowman, Emmett Smith. I get a lot of Cowboys people coming in. All the time asking for stuff. This, I believe, was the gold foil from 92. I have to go back and look. But pretty cool piece for a Cowboys collector out there of Evan Smith. If it will focus again. Come on, there we go. So not bad. Pick those two up. But this is the only reason why I did get it for the whole lot. Something I don't come across a lot. You guys remember Preferred did the booklets before Playbook came out. Now, Grant, there's one name on here that doesn't look like there should be on here, but Kobe's on it. You got uh, Andrew Bynum, Paul Pierce, and Garnett. This sells for around 120 bucks. These you will find wear on them and all kind of stuff. It's a booklet from back then. People didn't know how to take care of the stuff back then. When you look at the back, there's wear and the creases right there and stuff. This, believe it or not, back in the day out of 199 Numbered out of 199 so that'll be for sale today on whatnot as well, too, because I know there's a lot of Kobe people out there. Somebody's going to want it. All right, let's move to the first deal of the day. <laughs> I know we're going all kind of orders here. So pick these four cards up. I'm looking at grading some of this. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm going to do that before I decide where it goes. Josh Giddy, red, white, and blue. Look pretty decent on centering. I mean, it is off a little left and right. Um, top and bottom look good. We're, I still got to look it over, but figured give it a shot. It was cheap. Another Desmond Ritter. This is out of Phoenix. I don't think this one was numbered. No. So Phoenix Auto. They're cheap. They're like 30 bucks. This here was intriguing to me, and I figured I'd pick it up. It's a second year mosaic out of 25, Trey Lance. This more than likely is going to be off to graded land. Let me pull back some here. More than likely off to grading land. That way he comes back before the season. I think he's going to be healthy enough to start and then unload. Another guy everybody's asking about, Sangoon, Orange Flash. Not numbered. Picked it up cheap, too. So I figured what the heck, grab some stuff. I need to send some stuff out to be graded anyhow. And that's what this deal was kind of good leading towards, minus the Ritter. I don't think I'm going to grade Ritter. Ooh, hit the camera. I know, I know, guys. Rookie mistakes. Got too much stuff up here because of the show. So the last two I bought from a, this side here is from a gentleman's son. This is from the gentleman I usually try to buy good bulk deals for through. Um, very easy to work with because you could look up the cards and then, you know, take a percentage off because a lot of times stickers aren't right on this stuff. Look at that. The magnetic's just going crazy. So we're going to start with his sons first and we'll go these last. I always try to get from the same people all the time too just because you gain that rapport. Cam Reddish, Fast Break. These were selling like a couple of dollars a piece, now up to 10 bucks. Might be one of those things I sent off to Greg because they go for like 100 bucks. I know the back still is kind of a price tag on. Just haven't had a chance to look at it yet over to say yay or nay on. Got to clean this up because uh, it had stickers on it. But Panini 1, Matisse Thibel, rookie card for the Sixers out of 25. These boxes were insane in price. Uh, I didn't even look this card up. I just took it because I figured what the heck for the gamble for the price. I'll take it. The rest, I keep getting asking for Detroit Lions stuff. Now, I know this is Hawkinson. Um, out of 15 from Impeccable. Look at that disgusting patch. 
2021 player worn it says on this so pretty cool it was player worn Lex are all the same guy. DeAndre Swift, the running back now for Detroit. Immaculate rookie card out of 57. This is the, what do you call it, acetate, whatever. Shadow box looking thing. There we go. Just got a new light put in here, so it's all acting crazy on me. Select. This is the rookie material. It's not a true RPA, but still rookie card. Swift. Napkin patch numbered out of 49. And then this one here was disgusting. Out of 25 DeAndre Swift rookie card patch. When I looked at this earlier, I was like, man, kind of cool. It's not from any specific game or event. Doesn't even say it was player worn. Just says enclosed authentic memorabilia. But still pretty sick being numbered out of 25 from Impeccable. Like the design on it. Said, what the heck? We're going disgusting patches. People ask me for these cards all the time. If I could find them, help somebody else out. What the heck? All righty. We've hit almost every sport there is, but baseball. But we're going to hit some coming up. And some, I think there's football. And I'm going to put this stand over here because it's driving me crazy hitting it. And some basketball. I think there's football too. All three sports. So starting off, Landry Shement. This was a redemption back in the day from Impeccable. Believe it or not, a lot of people were still like kind of big on him, and I picked this up cheap. Um, his prices are just really cheap right now. So grabbed it. I don't know if I'll sell it or what with it. We'll see. Obsidian, DJ Moore, recently traded type deal. This is Obsidian. It's the uh, out of 16, the first off the line from last year. So... His prices have gone up. Figured what the heck. It was in a box. We'll take a stab at it. And I can't get the focus back because I am just doing horrible today. There we go. Up next, T-Law Rookie from Playbook. It's kind of a mosaic look to it. Pretty cool looking. I said, what the heck? It might go out to be graded. I don't know yet until I look at the stuff. This I just... Oh, this was off the kid too. I'm sorry. This was not supposed to be in here. Markel Fultz out of 10. Just a cool piece, cheap piece, no ore. Said what the heck. A lot of people like him still. All right, this is still off the dad. Panini, three and two, you're on. Look at that piece up here. I'm guessing that's like glove or shoe. I wish they would say what they are. It's just player worn used material. Uh, they used to, like, say jersey, jersey, you know, bat, jersey. And I think if I look at this, this might be glove, too. Up next, Obsidian. Again, R.J. Barrett. I've seen this for a while now, and I figured what the heck will pick it up. He's just really underrated, I think. Numbered out of 35. Another baseball, Key Brian Hayes, 3-2. Numbered out of 20. Pretty cool piece. And finally, we got a little old school. They sell for about 120. A lot of people are going to say it's jersey number, so you could sell it for more, too. One out of 35, Oscar Robinson. This is out of um, Impeccable. So, pretty cool for the last piece to pick up. A lot of stuff here that I came across, which I'm really happy about today. Overall, I was at the show like an hour and a half because I knew I had to get there, get back, and get stuff situated. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Overall, like I said, really good show for me um, going out there as a buyer. I want to say I was at like somewhere between, let me think here. About five fifty for all this, I think, was about right. So... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was right around 550 when I got all this for today. So not bad overall. Um, you know, pretty cool. I, like I said, biggest thing is I'm happy. The dealers were making sales out there. Um, really, really neat stuff out there. Uh, I don't know if I got the one guy's display case with all the super high end where every card was like 500 to like 5,000. 
uh, crazy stuff in there. I just figured that stuff just not going to go to show. You'd be lucky if one person buys one out of it. But definitely seen a lot of customers float in as I was leaving. The parking lot was getting more and more packed. So always good turnout out there. Next week, I will be set up at the Derby City Sports Card Show April 1st. Come by, say hello. I don't know what will be left after the Whatnot Card Show, but uh, definitely some stuff uh, coming in the mail. Um, hit a crazy uh, Kenny Pickett out of 10 from Obsidian Rookie Auto last night. Um, another McCaffrey Select RPA coming in. You guys get to see those videos, too. Better than that, guys. Have a great week, and I will catch you guys next video.